Can you pull his pants down lower? That just sounds wrong. Oh, my Santa hat. Is that good? That's good. Let me see if I can put his feet going the same way. We're going to open the keto crate. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we have a Christmas tree behind us, you'll be alerted to it. I keep looking to make sure that while I was decorating, I didn't sit down, flip, and just walk away. Christmas is puking in the studio it's right now. It's puking. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas puked. Since there's Christmas stuff behind us, and there's a keto crate here, that means we've got the December Keto Crate. Yay. Now, if you don't know what a Keto Crate is, this is a monthly subscription box. It is a great gift for people. If they're maybe getting started on keto, you want to have something that will help encourage them where they can still try some keto treats, this is a great option. There is a link down below if you're interested, and uh, you get some money off of the first box. Also, we're going to be giving one of these away at the end of the video, so make sure you watch all the way to the end. Ho, ho, ho. So a Keto Crate's got um, between 8 to 12 different types of keto items. What's cool about it is you don't have to buy like 12 of something. Yeah. For example, I love the Nola bars, but I really wouldn't like to have to buy 12 of them. I've, I've never had anything like that. Yeah. So once in a while, that kind of stuff shows up in here. You can buy one. Then if you like it, you can go to the company, usually there's a coupon, and you can buy a whole box of them. And we've discovered a lot of products through the Keto Crate. We definitely have. And um, one of the things that's different about me and Joe is I would never even try something if I didn't like have to buy, if I had to buy 12. I right. would not buy it. No, you wouldn't. Joe would try it. Joe would be like, okay, I will gamble on this box. I would not. So without the Keto Crate right. and like boxes like this, there's a lot of stuff I wouldn't try. There's a few things that we have gambled on, and they've turned out to be good products. Yeah. But there's other ones where we're like, yeah, this was a big, giant mistake. And it can be a lot of money. Okay, so there's always a thing in here with some recipes and that kind Yay. of stuff. Okay, oops. We printed the wrong recipe information on this month's insert, so that uh -oh. goes with that. Well, at least they fixed it. So what else? Join Keto and Com as an investor. No, oh, wow. That. First up, Good Sam, be an ally for small farms, Aww. dark chocolate mint, 55% cacao. That Cacao. That's your favorite is chocolate I mint. I love chocolate mint. Doesn't that look like you should take it on a camping trip? It looks very, like, campy. It does. Okay, so the ingredients in this are dark chocolate, which is made with allulose and cocoa mass, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, and then mint oil. That has got to be some of the cleanest ingredients wow. I've seen on a chocolate bar. It's literally three ingredients. Chocolate, which is then made with allulose, cocoa butter, and then your mint. And the sunflower less than is just an emulsifier. That's so. amazing. Okay. So let's see. They have, there's uh, nine servings in here, 120 calories per serving. Yeah. Then we have 11 grams of fat. It's really tiny writing. Yeah. You it have is one gram of protein. One gram of protein, a 14, 16 total carbs. 16 total carbs. Two grams of dietary fiber. And then 13 grams of allulose. So that makes it one net carb. One net carb. The only thing I'm going to say, there's two and a half servings in here. Is there though? So if you eat the entire bar, it's 320 calories. And uh, it's still only, what, three net carbs. But yeah. it's a lot of total carbs. It's like 43 total carbs. If you eat the whole bar. But I, I like how clean that is. That is Very definitely going to be an option for us. I just like the wrapping. Another piece of chocolate. Ooh. I wonder if this is going to be a Better chocolate Better than mark. good. Better than good foods. Keto chocolate oh, crunch. Price on that. $4.99 for that mint See, chocolate bar. See, this is the way to try it. Because ain't no way I'm paying $5 without knowing it's right. going to be good in there. 
All right, so the ingredients is chocolate liqueur sweetener blend of erythritol and monk fruit, cocoa butter, dried whole milk powder, milk protein isolates, galactule, oh, it's a prebiotic, vanilla extract, kosher salt, and liquid stevia. Another clean ingredient. Oh, look at this, and they have a thing that you can scan it and then get another free one. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of cool. So a bar is 190 calories, 18 grams of fat, four grams of protein, 18 total carbs, five fiber and nine sugar alcohol. So what are they saying? Four net carbs. Yes. Okay. Price on those. Lots of chocolate. Yeah. $2.49. Well, this is a nice one too, because like if you're stocker, you know, putting stocking stuffers, you're like instantly, if you're like, okay, yep. chocolate mints, not for me, going in a stocking. Intact. Intact. Crunchy cheese, black pepper. We've had these before, we really like them. They're really good, but you have to have salt. Yeah, so the ingredients in this are Chilean buttery cheese, which is pasteurized semi-skimmed cow milk, salt, uh, ligosome, which is egg, microbial, uh, micro, microbial enzyme, cheese cultures, black pepper, salt, contains milk and eggs. There's two servings in this whole bag which is 18 to 20 pieces per serving. You gotta weigh it out, 14 grams. Yeah. 80 total calories, six grams of fat, five grams of protein, less than one total carbohydrate. These are very responsibly sourced too. I mean, if they know the farmers. $2.99. All right, next up is Keto Farms, yum. Maple candied pecans or pecans, however you say it. The ingredients are pecans or pecans, natural sweetener, which is erythritol and monk fruit extract, butter, which is cream and natural flavors, molasses, natural flavors, vanilla extract, salt, and cinnamon. So 160 calories per bag, 16 grams of fat, two grams of protein, eight total carbs, two dietary fiber, five erythritol, so you're looking at one net carb. Price on those, $2.99. They're always very tasty. Hockey mini cookies, snickerdoodles. Snickerdoodles. I like Hockey. I think makes the best cookies. I think they actually have like really good snickerdoodles. I'm not always a fan of snickerdoodles. Yeah, I'm not a huge snickerdoodle fan. Theirs aren't bad. One of my biggest problems with snickerdoodles, and, and it's been a while since I've had these, but I feel like these are no different. Uh, they fall apart easier, yeah. right? They crumble easier. Is that just me or do you guys notice the same thing? Uh, ingredients, almond flour, a sweetener blend, which is erythritol stevia and uh, stevia extract, which is stevia and then monk fruit extract. Coconut oil, buttercream, which is milk, dried whole eggs, vanilla extract, baking powder, and then we have tapioca starch, baking soda. Oh, that's all part of the baking powder. Right. Uh, hydrologized collagen, cinnamon, guar gum, xanthan gum, and sea salt. Seven cookies in a serving. So seven cookies in a serving. There's two servings in this bag. We're gonna go by the whole bag, even though we usually are pretty good about eating a serving a piece. 280 calories per bag, 26 grams of fat, eight grams of protein, and then we have 18 total carbohydrates, four grams of dietary fiber, 12 grams of sugar alcohol. That makes it two net carbs per serving. And again, I like the fact that most of those well, carbs are coming from the erythritol, not from fiber. It's actually one net carb per serving. Yeah, but two I said net for the bag. For the bag. Okay. Uh, $4.67. They are always on sale. And we actually have a link for them down below. Keto wise, chocolate pecan clusters. It's a fat bomb. It's saying it's MC2 oils, maltitol free, gluten free. I like that they're saying it's maltitol free. Yeah. So the ingredients are the caramel layer is prebiotic, soluble fiber, polydextrose, vegetable oil, which is palm kernel oil and palm oil, water, glycerin, milk protein concentrate, non fat dry milk, salted. Uh, salted butter, which is cream and salt, contains less than 2% of each of the following. Soy lecithin, salt, disodium phosphate, carrageenan, sucralose, vanillinin. Uh, chocolate coating is MCT oil blend, prebiotic, soluble fiber, erythritol, milk protein isolate, inulin, cocoa, soluble corn fiber, salt, soy lecithin, and stevia. And then there's pecans. I feel like this is going to have a lot of fiber. I think I haven't be... looked at this, but it sounds like it's going to be high total carbs. Well, Let's hear. it sounds like start your engines <laughs> on your potty. Um, okay, so a package is 130 calories, 11 grams of fat, 2 grams of protein, 16 total carbs, 12 dietary fiber, and 3 erythritol. So, yeah, oh, it's going to be it's, very you know, sweet. When you look at something, for me at least, 
16 total carbs and 12 of them are fiber. Yeah. They're playing that fiber game. So they're using the fiber for a lot of sweetening. It's got that feeling I mean, to it. I'm sure it's good. Yeah. It's just be careful with that one. Oh, wow. Lots of chocolate. Ooh, I love that. Okay. Chalk, Chalk Zero. Zero. Keto Bark Dark Chocolate with Sea Salt Hazelnut Flavor. I like their dark, dark chocolate. Do you like salt on your chocolate? I, I do. love salt on the chocolate. I didn't used to, but really? now I do. So before keto, one of my favorite things was like chocolate covered pretzels. Yes. So the closest to me that you can get on keto to a chocolate covered pretzel would be salted chocolate. That was never my fave. Really? Yeah. See, no. I think, but I think a lot of it was the it was salt. Like, you guys need to stay separated. <laughs> Okay, ingredients in it is dark chocolate, which is unsweetened chocolate and cocoa butter, non-GMO, resistant dextrin, uh, hazelnuts, uh, sea salt, sunflower lesser than monk fruit extract, Madagascar, bermud, vanilla beans. Pretty clean ingredients. So yeah, I like that. Okay, so 100, there's six servings in the container. It's nice because they make it a, it's a wrapped bar. A serving size is one bar. So we're gonna go ahead and just open that up and show you. Look at That's that. one of the things I love about this Me because too. if it was, not individually wrapped, there's a chance I'm eating more than one. Right. But individually wrapped, here's my serving. I will be good. I really like the fact that they don't have a bunch of corn fiber in this. Okay, so back to this. Uh, 120 calories per bar, 10 grams of fat, two grams of protein, and then that is, is that 15? That is, what are you pointing to? Oh, 15, 15 total, total carbs. 15 total carbs, 13, 13 fiber. 13 fiber, and then two grams of protein. So that's what, three net carbs for each one. I'm looking for where is all the fiber coming? I guess the fiber is mostly coming from the, it's the dextrin and then the chocolate, but yeah. there's no corn fiber in here, which right. I'm good with. Price on these are six ninety nine. Six ninety nine a bag. We actually have a coupon code that is down below that will save you money off of it. Which them. is nice because you get six servings in a container. Here you go. Ooh, Keto and Company. Oh, those are the ones that are like, please invest in us. Keto and Company Fudge Brownies Keto Baking Mix. It's made with Wondros. Let's see. The ingredients are a Wondros sugar replacement, which is erythritol at soluble corn fiber, inulin, monk fruit, and natural flavors, coconut flour, cocoa powder, salt, and natural flavors. It does contain tree nuts, coconuts. Um, in order to make these, which are fudge brownies, you're going to need three-fourths cup of butter, which is one and a half sticks, melted, three large eggs, beaten. So that's it. Okay. So a serving size is one brownie. This is going to make 16 brownies. There is 110 calories per prepared brownie. Six, let's see. 10 grams of fat, um, 16 total carbs, eight from dietary fiber, six from erythritol. So you're looking at what? 14, Two net carbs? 15, tw yeah. Per, okay. per brownie. Price on that is $10.99 a bag. We got, ooh. Ooh, Southern Recipe. Southern Recipe Spicy Dill. <gasps> I love pork pickled rinds. pork rinds. I do too, except for I'm gonna have an issue with this one. Really? Yes. I mean, not bad, but it not one I would have in, in a, no. Pork rinds, sunflower oil, salt, maltodextrin, vinegar solids, Garlic powder, sugar, malic acid, citric acid, modified food starch, dill, dextrose, canola oil, natural flavor, wow. and acetic That's acid. That's unfortunate. So I do like this coming, and we'll eat them every once in a while. We don't always eat the super clean pork rinds. You get what you can get when you're on the road and stuff. I just do not understand why companies have to fly, fry their pork rinds in anything, in anything other, other than their own fat. Hello, that, save that your me, money. That is a big turnoff for me because I have severe reactions when I take in cook, uh, like the uh, canola oil, sunflower oil, not so much, but anything that's fried in like a vegetable oil or canola oil, I immediately get inflammation. Yeah. That's why we stopped getting wings from Win Dixit. So there's 70 calories per serving. There's four servings in this bag. No, there's not. Yeah, right. Um, I would say maybe, maybe two. Maybe two. Yeah. <laughs> four and a half grams of fat, eight grams of protein, one total carbohydrate. I don't even have an issue so much with the maltodextrin and stuff in the seasoning because a lot of seasonings do have that. Yeah. But that is also why we prefer porking good. So there's a link for them down below. But yeah, just the frying it in battle oils, I just don't like that. That's just my opinion. Where, where? Everybody's different. $3.29 a bag. 
Ooh, no Anthony. Guess what? There isn't anything of. There's no meat stick. No meat stick. One more item. Ooh, look at this. Told you it was a heavy chocolate. Ross Chocolates Minis. Dark chocolate thins with sea salt. Okay. So let's see. The ingredients are cocoa mass, inulin, erythritol, cocoa butter, sea salt, natural vanilla extract, steviol glycoside, and milk. So there's five. Clean ingredients. Yeah, there's five pieces in a serving. Um, the, the calories uh, are 120 calories per serving, which is five pieces, uh, 11 grams of fat, one gram of protein, 14 total carbs, eight from fiber, five from sugar alcohol. So you're looking at what, one net carb. $5.99. If they're always usually pretty fancy. I think they're individually wrapped. I don't know if they are. Are they individually wrapped? We haven't had those in a long We're time. We're about to find out. Oh, another knot. Are they Ziploc top? Yes, they are. Okay, that's important. Let's split one because I'd like to try that mint bar. So let's split one. Oh, dink. Mmm. <laughs> that's good. We've had their chocolate before. It's really good. I like the salt. Mm hmm. But here's what's weird I was expecting the salt to be on the outside, but it's inside the mm -hmm. chocolate. It's like a pazoo. Yeah. I really like that. Let's try that other one. Everything else here we have tried, except for that Keto Wise, which I really don't want to try right now. I don't want to poop right now. Okay, so <laughs> let's go with that mint chocolate one. This guy here? We already ate dinner. Yeah. Very pretty presentation. What I don't understand with this label, this now that I'm thinking Willy about Wonka. it. So they're saying there's nine pieces in here, which is that's a serving size. Oh, a serving size is nine pieces. The whole bar? No. So the bar is two and a half servings. So, oh, okay. so nine of these little squares is a serving. Okay. That makes more sense now. I'll just take one square. You want a square? I'm going to save this for later. I don't have a square to spare. Are you going to give me one or? No. Dink. Dink. Wow. That mint comes through. Mm -hmm. If you like mint chocolate. If you like Andy's candies, but there's a bitterness to it. It's not like a milk chocolate. No, it's dark chocolate. It's kind of, well, wants to fight. Honestly, that is really refreshing. It is refreshing. But I'm, like, I'm awake. If you want, like, if you like Andy's candies, which I did, but I wouldn't want to eat like 20 of them. I would sit there on my like bed and unwrap like 20 of them at once. What, did you not do that? This is like um, Andy's candies on CrossFit. So I feel like, like just maybe two or three of these squares would be completely satisfying. So oh my gosh, I'm probably yeah. going to be good with a half a serving or less. Yeah. Just to give me that chocolate fix because it does have a deep chocolate flavor it and I like that mint. Deep, bitter chocolate flavor, which I don't not like. Like, right. I, I mean, yeah, I like it, which is weird because I mean, it's it's pretty rough, right? Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's a pretty tough Well, rough, thing. like rough tasting or rough like- No, just like hearty, like yeah. formidable. So it reminds me of the ice chips. Okay. Like how the flavors are so stinking bold. Like this is the chocolate mint equivalent of black licorice. Well, I'm gonna tell you that, so the, as soon as you put it in your mouth, the mint hits you. Yeah. Then you get the chocolate and then you get the, the dark chocolate bitterness on the back note. If you like So you don't coffee, get the bitterness at first, you get the bitterness is at the back nose so yeah but i actually really like those because i've kind of moved away from like the overly sweet and right. i want that bitter sweet kind of thing <laughs> so that's pretty good though okay so not this box obviously we right. opened two things not this one where we but ate out we're going to give away one of these boxes and here's what you need to do you need to subscribe to the channel hit the bell button down below to be subscribed for notifications and then also hit the like button on this video go ahead and leave a comment down below any comment will do uh, if you don't want to win it just and but you still want to comment you can go ahead and just say hey pick somebody else if you pick me and then we will pick a winner and that will be posted up on the community page as well as we'll put a thing in facebook on who the winner is and we are going to pick the winner uh, on December, let's see, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10th. December 10th December is when 10th we're going to pick is. the winner. If you like seeing videos like this, 
take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way, subscribe to our channel, and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time I wear a ridiculous hat, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time, bye. bye.